Greetings, Summoner. I'm Slayer of Gods. You can call me Slayer. In this video, I'll explain how to execute the most damaging rotation of the Cosmic Ghost Strider, the 6 Aptitude Rotation. If this is helpful, consider pressing those like and subscribe buttons. This channel is dedicated to teaching you how to master CGR. We've got tons of guides and boss takedowns all at your disposal. The playlists are linked pretty much all over this video. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get moving. As I said, the 6 aptitude rotation is the most damaging one for Cosmic Ghost Shredder. It's possible to deal hundreds of thousands of damage on your basic attack. So you can see the ceiling is rather high. <laughs> Since it's such overkill, this rotation is most ideal in situations where the opponent has a ton of health or regeneration or honestly wherever you need to deal an absolute truckload of damage. I've been using this in Abyss, Labyrinth, and other huge bosses from Eternity of Pain and Grandmaster's Gauntlet. So let's explain how to do the rotation first and then we'll explain how it works. For your first two judgments, you should end a 5 hit combo with a medium attack and activate dexterity. It doesn't really matter which order you do these, just dex and get vigilance. Next, you want to launch your special one. Then you want to bait pretty much all of your opponent's special attacks that they have. Once the defender's close to the wall and they're under a bar of power, you want to end a 5 hit combo with a light attack. Then you want to parry the opponent and you want to land up to 5 heavy attacks in a row. Now, right before your judgments reset, you want to launch your special 3. Once your judgments do reset here, you do not want to activate dexterity at all anymore, alright? You want a medium, light, 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 medium for vigilance. You want a medium, light, 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 light for power gain. And then you want to parry the opponent. You want to charge your heavy into a special 2. And you're going to keep cycling special 2s until your fury buff expires. So you can see this rotation does have a bit of a setup, but the amount of damage that you can see on screen here is more than worth the effort and long form content in my opinion. It's enabled me to solo abyss fights in like a minute and a half. The main idea with this is to reach 5 judgments and then spam heavy to gain the 5 aptitude buffs. You want to launch your special 3 before your judgments reset, that way you can gain the 45 second fury buff instead of a 15 second fury buff, and then you gain your next aptitude right before your devastating special 2. All 6 of these aptitude buffs will enhance the potency of your precision and cruelty buffs from your special 2, but even more so your super long fury buff from the special 3 will be enhanced by those 6 aptitude buffs, equaling 300% potency on your fury. So it doesn't matter that the aptitude buffs fall off because the fury buff is already enhanced by them for the rest of its duration. You may think that once the aptitude buffs expire, CGR's damage will greatly diminish because they won't affect the fury buff anymore, but that's actually not the case. Aptitude enhances any fury buff that was active while aptitude was active, and this lasts for the rest of fury's duration. I dove very deep into this, so if you'd like to see more of an explanation, I'll have that video linked below. The fury buff is your main source of damage here. Couple it with your armor breaks and your precision, and you're in for one hell of a ride. Also, if you're wondering how CGR is able to actually stack five of those aptitude buffs in a single cycle, I'll have an explanation linked in the description and pinned comment as well. It'll go over how he's able to stack any of his buffs in this way. So, one more important thing to mention, this rotation does require a bit of AI cooperation, as a lot of champion rotations do. Since you need to spam heavy attacks, and there's a short window for this to happen, when you land your power gain buff and you're ready to spam heavy, your opponent has to attack you so you can parry them and then start heavy. If they don't attack, then they're wasting your 6 seconds, there's a strong possibility they could just stand there, blocking in the corner, and you don't want to throw a heavy randomly in most cases because they're going to hit you before you land it, and they can, you know, waste your power and you won't reach a special 3, and basically if they don't attack you after you do your last light attack, you might be screwed. There are two ways to combat this though. You want to either tap the opponent's block once and hope they retaliate, and then you can parry them and start heavying, or hear me out on this one. You want to bring Man-Thing to your team. Sounds crazy, I know, but Man-Thing has a very good synergy with CGR. If you have Man-Thing in your team, you can make your heavy attacks unstoppable. This does have a cooldown, but 
it'll basically mean it won't matter if the opponent doesn't cooperate. You could just immediately heavy attack after your light attack. You just rip it off immediately. <laughs> this is super helpful. It guarantees your rotation won't be ruined. Otherwise, a passive AI may screw you over. Although a passive AI in content where you're doing this rotation is kind of unlikely. I bring Man-Thing wherever I intend to use this rotation, and it's just a super nice safety net. Just be careful in places where the opponent has a chance to stun you on their basic attacks, like Realm, Labyrinth, and Abyss. Like, if you charge a heavy and they hit you, they might stun you before you can charge another heavy. So, that's pretty much the 6 aptitude rotation of Cosmic Ghost Shredder Explained. That's how you do it, that's kind of how it works. Hope it didn't feel like you needed a PhD to understand that. If you have any questions at all though, feel free to leave them below. I read every comment and I'm more than happy to offer help or guidance. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. If this was helpful or if you enjoyed, make sure to gently press those like and subscribe buttons. They didn't do anything to you. <laughs> For more CGR content, check out the playlist of guides or honestly just the rest of the channel. There's so much CGR content here. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have an absolutely outstanding day. Take care, Summoner, and I'll see you in the battle realm.